Hello guys, this is Gabby Tech. Today we will overclock my 1080 Ti. You will notice that this graphic card, even though it's 1080 Ti and it's not RTX 2080 Ti, it's so good that you can think about buying it even 2020. The special tip about this card is Assassin's Creed Special Edition. You can notice the back plate of the card and this amazing Egyptian hieroglyphs that it comes with which looks cool like back in day like before two years when you notice this you can I don't know you can see the AeroGI here hidden in the hieroglyphs it's extremely beautiful now I will overclock it first I will show you the main features here you can see the GPU speed here you can see on the Strix software the VRM usage is 23% the GPU speed is 16% and the GPU temperature is 31 degrees which is pretty amazing but my fans are working on the maximum in the, in the other room to provide the best overclocking experience now I will use this Unigine Heaven benchmark to show you the that's a basic edition to, to, to show the base principle of my graphic card and afterwards I will use I will overclock it and show you how I the difference between the two scores that I apply in gaming you can notice this beautiful basic free benchmark I'm running on 2000 megahertz you can see the frames per second the graphics, the memory, and the temperature. You can notice this benchmark is important. You can see the details. The details of this dragon are very important. Also the sun rays. All of these components are constructing the frames and has very big impact on the performance and the graphic guards is giving all of these details and the better it is the more quality details you receive now you benchmarking you can notice the scores here the frames per second lifetime here the time that passed since I started the benchmark the frames passed the minimum frames per second are the 39.4 the maximum frames per second are 200.1 the scene is 22 on 26 as you see that when the time passed the uh, values are changing but I think it's pretty amazing, 200 frames per second is not bad. Very beautiful benchmark, I really like it. Okay, here is our Unigin Heaven benchmark result. Frames per second, 92.4. 
our score is 2327. The minimum frames per second we gain during the all of the benchmark is 39.4 and the maximum frames per second are 200.1. You can see the GPU model and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti 26.21, 14, 45, 78, 6, uh, 4095 megabit. I'll take a picture of this score now. This is my base score. You can see in the settings here the render mode, preset, quality and tessellation. Now we are on the professional mode of my card. I have overclocked this card before and as, as a beginner overclocker I, I recommend the GPU boost to be plus 90, the boost clock to be 190 and the power target to be 120. I don't touch the voltage because my car don't like when I touch the voltage. It crashes immediately even if I undercut the voltage, which is strange. She just don't like it. What can we do? Now we will put the values. I recommend increasing by 10 for a beginner person till you find the perfect value that gives you the best performance and your car don't crash. Now we will put here plus 90. The boost clock. It can even do 190 but I will show it on 180 now. I overclocked my graphic card by 12%. You can notice here on the simple the VRAM usage, the GPU speed, and the temperature. Now we run a new benchmark to see what are our new values. Show my frustration. Since this benchmark is so long, I decided to put another one that is better. You will like it, it's short and efficient because this uh, Unigen is like something like 3-4 minutes that it makes me fall asleep. That's why I will show the that's why I will show, show World War Z be, uh, benchmark that you will like very much. By the way, this they give this game now for free. If you want, you can get it. ka -ching. Amazing, amazing sexy zombie. Nice teeth, bro. I'm very good, I won the previous game. I'm World War Z now. I'm master of the game. I like hiding behind my teammates very much. The game started after 50 minutes. Run benchmark. Da. Benchmarking. Majestic zombie game. Okay, over. here are we with the benchmark results. We have frames per second 111, GPU load 85, we see the display mode, resolution, visual quality preset, GPU graphics and GPU memory. Our frame, maximum frames are 212.
after we overclocked, we can notice that our previous score was 6630 and this score is 6855. The frames are 115, which is increased by 4 from the average from the previous time. The minimum is 99. As you can see, here our score is 6630 from the previous benchmark here is 6855 our frames are increased by four from our previous average result which was 111 we have 92 minimum here and 99 minimum here which is increased by seven we have 90 max here from to 88 here 85 here and 86 here and 79 and 81 here so after we overclock to our gpu clock speed to 250 we received this uh, 2050 we received this score which overclocking absolutely successful and our gains by four frames congratulations thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed benchmarking with me i hope that in future when i have more graphic cards i will show you how i overclock on all of them and you will have a lot of fun with me with all of our, all of our benchmarking programs be sure to like subscribe and smile